Hi, I'm Beth Kukowski, Head of Youth Services at the Cherry Hill Public Library. April is National Poetry Month, so my cat Pearl and I are here to share with you one of our favorite poems, which is a Shel Silverstein poem from Where the Sidewalk Ends, and it's a cautionary tale about taking the garbage out called Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams, and though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window, it blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach bits, orange peel, glumpy cups of old cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of blackburn buttered toast, greasy bits of beefy roasts. The garbage ro rolled on down the hall, it raised the roof, it broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, me moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play and finally Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay! I'll take the garbage out. But then of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there in the garbage she did hate, poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But her children, remember Sarah Cynthia Stout and always take the garbage out. <laughs>